How much time have you spent sitting, waiting for red lights to change mm -hmm. on Airport Boulevard in Mobile, even when there aren't any other cars on the road? Well, city leaders tell us they are working to change that. WKRG News 5's Haley Kennedy is here, and Haley, you spoke with the city engineer who says a unique upgrade is on the way. Yeah, that's right. By the end of next year, Mobile will be the first city in Alabama to have all traffic lights run through the regional traffic operation program. We have all heard the courtesy honk after sitting at a red light for what feels like forever. But you could save minutes, you know, on, on small trips. Um, 30 minutes on a longer trip. The city of Mobile and LDOT have partnered by saying out with the old and in with these new blue computers. It's time to modernize. It's time to upgrade some equipment. Uh, we need to, you know, get out of the 80s and kind of come to the 21st century. These computers are part of the regional traffic operation program, which allows for real time control over traffic signals. According to LDOT, this will save drivers 20% of travel times. Some of the phases run fixed time, so you're using up green that you don't need and then um, that causes, that's what causes a lot of that delay. Those current fixed times could leave drivers sitting at a red light 15 to 45 seconds longer than they need to be. And then once your light turns green, you run into a new problem. And 500 feet down the road, the next signal just went red. So you get to move up 500 feet, and do it all over again. Right? Through our top, those traffic lights will become synchronized and over 100 traffic lights in Mobile have already seen these upgrades, including major roads like government and parts of Airport Boulevard. It should be a different experience for drivers. Other parts of airport as well as roads like Hillcrest, Cottage Hill and Greylaw are next on the list to see these improvements. In the studio, Haley Kennedy, WKRG News 5.